All right, thanks for joining us today. We're excited to take you through this workout. Uh, hold on tight. We've got a good one in store, right? I think so. You tell us. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, one more reminder. Those who just got on, we're using a chair today as our prop or I'll be using a chair. Brad's going to be using the end of our couch, so you're welcome to use a couch too. Uh, so if you'll grab hold of one of those, we'll get started. We'll All right, you guys, let's get warmed up. Uh, we're just going to start with some slow jogs. We're just going to jog our feet, just get moving, shaking out those arms. Brad's doing high knees. We're just going to move. Just get our blood flowing for about 30 seconds, and then we'll do some body weight movements. We're only going to take about three to four minutes to warm up before we get into it. About 10 more seconds of our jogging. Let's pick it up. Higher knees for the last five. We're going to go into a squat in four, two, one. Hands are by your ears. We're going to squat and we're going to rotate. Just turn that body. Squat, keep the foot that you're turning towards stays forward. We're twisting through the hips, turning that toe. So pivot your toe, squat and pivot, squat and pivot. Good, let's go. Keep it going, sit into those heels, 10 more seconds. Pivot every time for me, please. And pivot. In three seconds, we're gonna do some windmills. And one, good, outstretch those arms, reach your hand toward your toe, look up at your other hand. And straight, stand up tall and switch. Back and forth, so send those hips back. You're stretching through that inner thigh a little bit with your hamstring, rotating with your torso. Good, looking up. Send that butt back, sit into that heel. Good work, you guys. Five more seconds, and we'll do one more movement. Last one. All right, let's do our reverse lunges. Arms up in the sky, let's reverse lunge with your right leg, side bend to your left. Nice big stretch. Feet together, reverse lunge with your left leg. Hand down, side bend to your right. Nice big stretch. Back and forth. You can let your knee rest to feel stable. Really stretching through that, or you can let it hover. It doesn't really matter. Whatever feels good for you. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, and last one. Done. Good, grab your chair. We're gonna have four movements. Four movements, 40 seconds on with a 10 second rest. First movement is a knee to squat. So you're gonna sit on your chair, you're gonna lean back, you're gonna go elbows to knees using your core. You're gonna lean forward and explode up. Elbows to knees and jump. It's exercise one, exercise two, we're gonna flip right around. We're gonna do mountain climbers, knees into your chest. Run it in. If you want more difficulty, go at a decline. Mountain climbers, knees to chest. Exercise number four, three is our dips. Put your fingers forward, big chest, drop your elbows back. Don't go further than 90, only 90 degrees with your elbows. Down and up. If you wanna make it more difficult, straighten those legs. Final exercise, our split squats. Put your foot back on that chair, come down and up. If you wanted more difficulty, you can add your jump. We'll switch it at 20 seconds, okay? Let's do this, guys. Knees. Knees to elbows to your squat jump or just a squat. So again, and go. Knees to elbows and stand or knees to elbows and jump. Lean back, use that torso, bring your knees to your elbows. Good Brad, knees to elbows. <laughs> Sit back, use your core, knees to elbows and jump. Come on, let's go. Jump it up, perfect squat jump every time. Brad's a little bit lower on the couch, this makes it a little bit harder. If you are lower, it will make it a little bit harder. Knees to elbows, jump. Knees to elbows, 10 more seconds. Brace that torso, knees to elbows. If that's a little bit of a challenge, cross over one elbow, one knee, jump, one elbow, one knee. That would be a modification. All right, exercise two, mountain climbers. Put your hands on, you can do an incline, knees into your chest. If you wanna do more difficult, come down to a decline, knees to chest. I guess I'll stay here since I'm showing. Come on, bring those knees to your chest. Shoulders are stacked over, over elbows over wrists. Come on, knees to chest, keep pulling them in. Take that pace up. 
Let's go. Look straight between your thumbs. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there. We have 15 seconds. Knees in. You can go slow and controlled if you need, or run it out. Get that heart rate up, keeping those hips still and level. Let's go. Breathe. Almost. All right, we have our dips. Make your fingertips point towards your bum. Before you drop down, I want you to puff your chest up for me so we're not forward. Puff that chest up for me. Let your butt track the chair down and up. I don't want to see you forward like this. Okay, bring that butt in close to the chair. Down and up. If you're strong, straighten those legs out. If you want to add more of an instability challenge, stick one leg out and do it. Come on, 40 seconds is a decent amount of time. We have 15 more. Push those elbow pits forward so the inner of your elbows point forward when your arms are straight. Down and up. Come on, Brad. We've got this. Big chest. Pump it out. Don't let those shoulders dump forward. All right, final round. Sorry, final exercise of this round. Split squat. So let's put our right leg forward for the first 20 seconds. Right leg is forward. Drop down. Put your weight into this heel of the front leg. If you're strong and you want to jump, you can jump. You don't have to do any impact though. Just sit back. Sit your butt back towards your chair. Don't lean your body forward. Switch legs. Good, you guys. Put most your weight in the front leg. Good. Let's go. Nice job, Bree. David's jumping it out. Awesome work, you guys. Come on. Nice, Julie. This guy's rocking it out, too. It looks good. All right, we've done one round. You know the drill. Back to the first round. If you joined us a little bit late, sit on your chair. You're going to lean slightly back. You're going to go elbows to knees. Lean forward, explode high. Elbows to knees, explode high. Come on, sit back, elbows to knees. Use your torso, big chest, elbows to knees. It's kind of a little bit like a boat pose, but we're seated, a little more upright. Then explode, use power to butterfly landing. You're a little butterfly when you land. Explode like a cannon, land like a butterfly. Let's go, you guys. Nice. Eight seconds. Don't fall back in that couch. Get sunk in that couch. All right. Good job, you guys. Mountain climbers. Remember, you can go incline or decline. So put your hands on the chair or your hands on the ground. It's up to you. Let's go. Mountain climbers, please. Bring those knees into your chest. Good, good. That's it. When you're in your plank position, I want you to try to puff your chest up a little bit more for me. Don't let, some people I see rounded backs, but you have a nice flat back. Puff that chest up. Good. 18 seconds, nice and controlled. Look at your arms, are they straight up and down? They should not be at an angle. Breathe, let's go. Almost there. Yes. All right, we have our dips. Dips are next. Remember, your fingertips point towards your bum. When you press up, I want the middle of your elbow pits rotating forward. They should not be rotated into your side. Good, that's it, Brad. Nice job. You guys got this. 30 seconds. Puff that chest up. Keep your butt really close to your chair. You're dropping straight down and straight up. We're not drifted forward. Straighten those legs out if your arms aren't burning yet, because they should be burning. They're not straighten those legs out. Let's go. Puff that chest up, elbow pits forward. Come on, you can do it. Two, one, and rest. Single leg. Single leggers. Okay, put that back leg up on the chair. I want you to send your hips back. Drop straight down. Don't let that knee deviate in, okay? Make sure it's over your second and third toes. Yes, David's jumping. Like I said, if you want to pick that heart rate up, add a jump. Or maybe do one or two normal ones and then do one jump. It's up to you. Good. 
All right, switch legs for me, please. Drop down and up. Add the jump. If you jump, explode like a cannon, land like a butterfly. That's my saying today for you guys. Any type of explosive movement, the goal is to land softly. Yes. You've done it two rounds. You know where you're at. We have one more round. One more round. Squat, elbow to knees to a jump. Sit, elbow to knees, explode high. Raise that torso, elbow to knee, explode high. Try to jump as high as you can. Perfect squat. Make sure that when you jump, I'm gonna turn sideways. Often when people jump, their knees come like this, and then they come back out. Make sure your knees don't do what I'm showing. Really press that floor apart, using your glutes. So like you're spreading apart as you jump. 10 more seconds. Let's go. Explode. Good. Nice job, Bree. That's it, David. Good. All right, exercise two, mountain climbers. I want to challenge you guys, if you've been good with, with it, incline, go decline for the last round. It's only one more round of 40. So knees into your chest. Nice and controlled. If your chair is not secure against the wall or something and it tends to move, mine's moving a little bit, slow it down. Stay focused on your control of your plank. Knees into chest without those hips deviating. Think about firm, solid hips. That's it, Brad, you got it. Nice job. Come on, Julie, keep going. That's it, we're almost there, Sky. Good, you guys. And rest. All right, we have our dips. We have two more exercises. It's less than two minutes of work in this round. Not with class. We've got it, and dip it out. Remember, if people want to take a peek, sometimes when people do dips, coming close, we round forward. Puff that chest up, and when you press up, that inner part of your elbow, I call it the elbow pit, should be pointed straight forward. It shouldn't be rotated in towards your side. Okay, you guys? 20 more seconds. Come on, Brad. Keep that butt really close into the chair. Down and up. You have 12 seconds. Rock it out. We've got it. Come on, push for the final three. This should burn. We're doing muscle endurance. This should burn, burn. Yes. Okay, split squats. Final round, final exercise in this round. Okay, sit that hip back. Load up your front heel. The back leg should have very little weight. You should not be pushing on this leg to stand up. You should be pushing on your front leg. Come on. Give me a slight forward lean so we have an angle. Load up your glutes and switch legs. Nice, jump it out, you guys. Come on, I see some people jumping. Or stay stationary, focusing on perfect form. Loading up your glutes, feeling your quads. Make sure you don't lose your balance by pressing firmly into the ground with your feet. Good. Mm. Woo, nice job, you guys. Grab a drink of water. We're gonna do another round of four movements. I'm gonna show you what they are. Brad's gonna grab a drink of water while you're resting. Take a peek over at me. We're gonna start with step ups or explosive step ups. So on your chair, you're going to either just lean, hover, step up, drive your knee, and switch. Lean to a hover, drive your knee. If you want, add some, you can explode at the top, explode at the top. Those are your two options for your step ups. Number two is a push up to a jump in. You're gonna give me a solid push up. We're gonna jump in kind of like a burpee, jump back out. Push up, jump in and out. Exercise three, single leg stand up. So you sit on your chair, lift one leg off the ground. You're just gonna stand up, sit back down, switch legs. Stand up, sit back down. Exercise four is a decline plank toe tap. Going back into our plank position with on the floor, you're gonna tap your leg out to the side off the chair, tap your other leg out to the side. If that's a little bit of a challenge, by all means, come onto the chair, tap left and right. Okay, four rounds, let's go. Starting with our step ups. In five. 
Let's go, you guys. Focus on good form in this step up or pick up the cardio aspect of it and explode. If you're doing controlled, I want you to hover. Notice I'm not moving yet. Then I'm standing up, alternating every step. Alternating every step. Then come down. Unless you're, in, if you're doing the explosive, jump, explode. Jump, explode. Try to get as high as you can off that chair. It's a little bit hard on a soft couch. If you want, then you can just focus on control and hover to stand. Notice I'm just, if I'm just stepping up, I'm hovering into the bottom position. Then I stand up. I'm not just powering off that bottom leg. Let's go, you guys. Two, one. All right, push-ups to a jump in. Perfect push-ups. Oh, Brad's gonna do a decline. Look at that. Push-up. You're gonna jump in, Brad. Then jump back out. There we go. Anybody want to see another fun challenge? Brad added it to a decline. Makes the jump in even a little bit harder. Jump wide. And then jump back out, Brad. Good. Come on, perfect push-ups. Jump wide and in. If you're jumping back up into that inclined chair, you gotta use a lot of power and strength in your core to get your feet back up. Come on, we've got this. Let's go. Breathe and push. Almost there, you have three seconds. Good, good. All right, single leg stand up. So you're gonna sit on your chair. You're gonna lift one leg up and you're just gonna stand. Whew, I got just totally wobbly showing you. Sit back down. So stand up and sit back down, switch legs. If your chair is too high and it's not much of a challenge, then what I want you to do is I just want you to sit back, tap your butt to stand. Sit back, tap your butt to stand with one leg. I'll come this way. So your option is if your chair is too high or you're strong and this the stand up is too easy, you're just gonna go like so. Otherwise, you're sitting on your bench, lifting one leg, stand up nice and strong, and sit back down, switch legs. Lift one leg, stand up nice and strong, and back down. Option would be to just sit back, tap your butt, stand up, sit back, tap your butt, stand up. Woo, final movement, decline plank toe taps. Get into that decline position. If you'll go there, I'll go right here. Plank position, now you're gonna tap your toe to the side all the way to the ground. Straight leg. Oh, that's hard, hard with couch, sorry. Okay. Yeah, if you're on a couch, just you don't quite have that option to go straight down, you're gonna have to bring your knee in, tap out, okay? Or just tap the side of your chair. Push that floor away. Make sure that when you're doing it and your leg comes out to the side, I don't know if people are actually looking at the camera and, and this, but sometimes when we tap out, our hips totally sink down. Try to keep your hips square the entire time of that tap out. Good, five more seconds. Tap it out, tap it out. Come on, keep your hips square. Good job, you guys. We have two more rounds of all four movements, so let's start with our step ups. Explode it or control it, okay? I'm gonna do control, so is Brad. If you wanna pick that heart rate up, you can. So hover, control, and stand. Switch it, good. Good, good. If you're exploding, I want you to switch at the top. I want you to like explode to a jump switch. Good. That's it. Nice job. Good control, Julie. Nice guy. Come on, drive through that heel. I want you to not push off your bottom leg. If you're, do, if you're exploding off your bottom leg, you're taking away the strength from the leg on the chair. Let that leg do the work. Good. All right, you guys, we have our push-ups to jump ins. Okay, get those hands, give me a perfect push-up. You're gonna jump wide so your heels are on the ground. Jump into a squat, Brad. You're gonna jump in like a wide, kind of like a burpee. Jump wide to a squat, jump back out. And in, jump wide. My heels come to the ground, I jump back out. I'm not letting my toes just touch the ground when I jump in. I'm letting my heels come all the way in. Come on, knock it out. You can move faster than that, you guys. Jump in and out. If that's, by now, if that impact is too much, you can step in, step back out, push up. Step in, step back out to a push up. That's a modification if you don't want any impact. All right, single leg stand up or single leg squat. 
So you did the first round. If you weren't very fatigued by just standing straight up and sitting down, then I want you to start standing. I want you to sit back, tap your bum to stand, switch legs. Sit back, tap your bum, stand. Don't rest your bum or you're gonna just stay seated. Stand up, sit down, switch legs. You know what you can do right now. And take a peek at those who are sh showing me good. Try to resist um, using momentum. Some people I see, they're really like leaning back and just leaning forward to a stand. Try to really use the strength of your planted leg. Less momentum. That's it, you guys, good. Awesome. Great work, you guys, keep Ooh. going. All right, exercise. We have one more exercise in this round. Decline plank taps. Okay, plank position, let's tap it. Remember, look at your arms. Are my shoulders stacked over elbows and my wrists? We're gazing right between our thumbs. Don't look down at your toes. Don't look up in front of you because we don't want to extend our neck. We want a straight body line. Tap, tap, good. That's it. Don't let those hips dance. Keep them still when you tap. Try not to let them sink from side to side. Breathe. We've got it. Push that floor away. Good work, good work. Yes. All right, one now, one more round. Step up, please. I want everybody to slow it down if you're not exploding. So hover, start at that bottom. Notice my other leg's not moving yet. Stay at the bottom and then stand, then come right back down. Stay at the bottom with your back leg off the ground, then stand. Okay, slow it down you guys. Unless you're intentionally doing the explosive. You're getting that heart rate up, focusing more on your cardiovascular at that point. Good. Nice work you guys. That's it. Looks good Bree. Keep it going. Five seconds. Two, one. Perfect. Push up with your jump ins. Again, if people didn't see this, because I showed it at the end, if you don't want impact anymore, you can just step wide and then give me your push up. So you can step right, step left, step right, step left, push up, or you can jump in. That's your option if you don't want impact today. Good, good. When you push up, don't let those hips sag. Keep your body still like you're a plank, just moving up and down. You're a moving plank. That's it, come on. We've got it, we're almost there. Two more exercises after that. And we'll finish up with some core. Push, push. Woo! Single leg stands or single leg squats. Let's go, you guys. So sit. I want some of you to challenge this. Just sit back to a stand. Or just stand straight up from your bench. Yes. Good. Awesome. Nice single leg squat. Breathe out. Good. So Julie holding on to a ball, adding a little extra weight. Good job, Sky. Everybody who I don't see, I know you're rocking it, so just keep going. Push, push. Switch legs every time. Or sit down to a stand up. Brad's nice and low, he gets sunk in that couch cushion. Yes. All right, final one is your decline plank toe taps. Get into that plank position, focus, focus. Don't get sloppy right here. If when you tap out, your body drops to a side, I want you to not let your foot go quite as far. Just reach your foot out to the side, to side. If you tap out and your whole body sinks, then I want you to not let your foot tap the ground. Just go side to side. Good, push the floor away. Gaze directly between your fingers. We've got it. Breathe. It's your last movement of this round. Good, come on. We've got this. Stay solid, stay strong. Woo! Good work, you guys. If you need to grab a drink of water, do so. 
We're gonna finish up with a couple core movements. Just two, we're gonna go 20 seconds with 10 seconds rest, around three times. First one is we're going to do a knee tuck on the chair. So you're gonna lean back, legs out. We're gonna pull our knees into our chest, right back out. So if you wanna extend far out, back in, that's great. If that's a bit of a challenge, you can come, let your back rest against your chair and just tuck in and out. Exercise one, exercise two. You're gonna do a plank to a side plank. So plank, we're gonna rotate to our side plank. We're gonna bring our knee into our elbow. Plank, rotate to the other side plank. Knee into your elbow, right back out. Okay, 20 seconds, three times. Sit your bum on that chair. Let's do some knee tucks in five. Finish strong. Lean back, tuck that uh, knees into your chest, big chest. If you wanna let your arms just hang out, lift them up, raise them high, guys. It's only 20 seconds, I think you can raise those arms up. Come on, bring those knees in, in three, two, one. All right, rotating planks to elbows to knees. So you'll start in your plank. When I rotate, notice my feet can be stacked like they're on a tightrope together. Then I lift one up, elbow to knee. Rotate, back to plank. Bring elbow to knee. Back to elbow to knee. Again, if you want, you're welcome to do this at a decline. It's up to you. We're just adding different angles today with the chair. Good. All right, back on your bum. I want people, I want to see people's arms up if they can. Raise those arms up, knees in and out. Extend your whole body out. You're almost like you're laying flat or your lower back is laying flat on the chair if you're doing this version. Raise those arms up, raise those arms up. Come on, you guys. Five seconds. When you do it, reach them high. Try not to reach them forward. Yes. So like what I was saying, if anybody wants to go to a decline, you're welcome to do a decline, rotate, elbow to knee. It's a bit of a challenge. Or stay on your incline. We're doing inclines and declines today. Good. Challenging our body in new directions. We love to try new things around here. We love to have new faces. All right, sit her down. One more set. One more. Okay, when people do this, I want you not to like swoop those arms forward. Come on, Brad, just keep reaching them for the sky. Reach them for the sky. Lean back, extend. Lean back and extend. Then pull everything in and hold it. Out, pull in and hold it. Back out. Come on, you can do it. You have three, one, yes. Last movement of the day, 20 seconds. Let's go, push yourself. You're done in 20. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Rotate, elbow to knee, come right back out to a plank and then solidly rotate. First find your side plank, bring your elbow to your knee. Good, that's it, rotate. Almost through, lift that leg up, last one, Woo. Woo. thank you all. Good job everybody. That's it. All right, vlog style ending. Great class today, join us next time. We're happy to have you with us. Make sure you like, subscribe, this video is tilted. Like, subscribe. Not hit that notification button. Tell your family and friends about our channel. We'd love to have them try it out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>